Yes, yes, um, we're that time of year. And maybe this because I'm from the South, but in the South, people always had decorative fireplace greens because from like, you know, February to December, you didn't use your fireplace, right. so you yeah. always covered it with something. Um, we actually did this last year, if you remember the Modern Aspen Ski yeah. Lodge cover. Which I like we have very a film much. From that. Yeah. Here we go. Mm -hmm. This oh, is the finished fantastic. one. That's wow. all in. Look at that. That's amazing. I have one last piece to go on here. This one? No, this one it. here. Okay. Seems like so. There you wow. go. And then, because you did the flat bit on the bottom, it is going to just sit. Wow, that is so super right. oh, cool. Actually, oh. yeah. oh. that was like almost a year ago, exactly. Really? Yes. You were the wood, it's not there so anymore. So we, we've moved it. So this, moved this year I wanted to give uh, viewers another option, something that was a little bit more shabby, chic, country-ish, because I know we have a lot of viewers that, that do love that style, and I wanted to make it inexpensive. So this is one that's going to cost. Cheap. Because I'm cheap, which we know. He's not you don't know, I'm cheap. Well, that's a compliment. Yeah, I take it, I take it. Um, so this one, we're using good old wood um, pickets that are like a dollar twenty or so, or if you have an old fence, good use for it. So. Right, and by the way, if you paid attention in the jigsaw segment, you could be cutting these yourself. Because You right, could, rice. Right? Yes, yes, you can. Very good, good tie-in. I know, I know. Yeah. Let's, yeah. let's talk about that, about cutting it. So when you're looking at your fireplace, what you're going to do is you're going to have your opening mm -hmm. um, and then a facing. You don't want your screen to just cover the opening because that's going to look pretty rinky-dink. So you want to go somewhere between the opening and your actual mantle. So for this, I chose 32 inches, so it would come right up here. Yeah. So you want to get that measurement and then get the width, and I'm at 40 inches. So you can use your newly found um, jigsawing skills, or you can pay the guy a buck to do it at the store. I <laughs> see that, though that this is distressed. Yes. So how do we paint it to look distressed? We have a tape of me doing that this morning. It's very, very easy. Um, I'm using a, a, a dry brush technique, same one I used on the Hobbit House. So get your pickets, lay them all out. Um, I needed 12 to get me to that 40 inches we're talking about. Get white paint. This is our leftover trim paint. Squeeze almost all the paint out of the brush and then just rub it on. Super, super light, super quick. And then for this, I wanted to create like a monogram for the front. So you don't need big skills. Print it on your computer on cardstock. Cut it out. I did an H and M and then just place them exactly where you want them to go. Get a good old number two pencil. Um, they're not just for the SAT. And trace <laughs> around. They even still use yeah, pencils for the SAT. I don't know. Um, and then I, I just went through with a little uh, angle so brush and some uh, a craft paint and just filled in um, my letters. You know, pick colors that are going to work with your flowers or work with your your wall decor. So very very, very nice. Easy. All right. Nice. And so now. And now. Now we... what we're going to do is just add the hinges. So Mark, I'm going to let you start. Going ahead okay. and adding those in there. What I did was I just measured. Thank you very much, ma'am. <laughs> um, I sisters? measured up from the. You want them to be down a bit from the top so that you're not going to see them. I did 10 inches from the top and four inches from the bottom. Can you take a minute and explain the hinge? Because it it, it it can go two ways here on this. Like so many things. So okay. the here hinge. So what you're going to want to do is hinges Fancy will go flat like yeah. this. You've got the pin here. So you're oh, going to want to make sure if I open this up. When you've got that pin down there, you want the pin facing down. Place that between your pickets and do it that way. That way, when it actually bends, it's going to curve in a, in a space here. <laughs> how, much, how much handy work I, just I, was, I know okay. they don't clean. Okay. They already right. said okay. that. Straight up and down. No, right. we're, we're taking a little learning lesson here. Right. You can slide this sleeve over like that. Oh, go straight up and down. There you go. Ah. <laughs> Does she drive her car like that? <laughs> Just like one speed wide open? You get arrested here if you keep doing it like that. So a little bit, just do this, and then just a little bit, because it's very soft wood, you can just do that. You can even on this, because it is such That's soft wood, use a hand screwdriver. You could, you could. Um, for those of you who are frightened of power tools. Okay, here we go. Now, okay. I want to just remind you that my fingers are down here, <laughs> straight up and down. Okay. Okay, we can put the sleeve on there, just very gentle. See what you're doing. Okay, we gotta get straight uh, uh, up okay. and down. Good. I'm okay. Nervous all of a sudden. All right. Good. Look at me. Push down a little bit. Give it a little shoulder. Put a little bit of it. Here we go. Right. We are actually filming this in slow motion. <laughs> 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 I think we should cast her as the handyman in the next movie. There we go. There we go. Right there. Okay, and then do. 
Oh, and in the zip, keep it up. I used an inch and a half hinge. So your standard inch and a half hinge is I found the perfect size. Okay. And we are oh, done. So uh, 12 of them across. I'm done. That's right. Shall we? Here, let's go around front here. That would take a little longer. Yeah, a couple years. All right. Aw, that's fun.